Hi, my name's Doug, and I want to welcome you all and thank you all for taking the first step in learning just some of the ways to kick toxic chemicals out of your life for a happier, healthier, more secure, and prosperous life for you and your loved ones. Before I get into the teaching, I want to share with you my essential oils journey because it's important for you to know my why, my passion, my dream. My goal is to share the lifeblood essence, the intelligence of plants that can help you transform from a harmful chemical laden environment to a more natural lifestyle that can greatly improve your health and maybe your prosperity. I know that that's what it's done for me. But I know that this may not be for you, and that's okay. But I know that you will be better informed to make wise decisions about what you expose yourself and your loved ones to at the end of this. These essential plant oils are no silver bullet, but they can be an important part in making small lifestyle changes that can help you become the person you dream of being and helping your friends and your family do the same. So how do you do that? Well, once upon a time, I was stationed in Rota, Spain with the US Navy. We operated the naval port for ships entering and exiting the Mediterranean. Uh, one day I was bent over handling some heavy lines when I got a weird feeling at the base of my spine. When I stood up, my vertebrae closed on one disc and ripped a piece of it off. Yes, I'd, I'd slipped two discs. It felt a little weird, but I was okay until about an hour later when I was getting ready to cook dinner at home. And I reached for a can of, I, I, I can't even remember what it is now, out of the pantry. And I got the most excruciating pain coming from my lower back and my buttocks and down my legs. My toes started to tingle. It felt like somebody had put like a hot rod down my legs and the pain was just really bad. So I kind of collapsed to the floor and I managed to crawl to the bed and just lie there until um, my, my wife got there and took me to the emergency room about 30 minutes later or so. For the next four days, I was bedridden and I could only manage to just roll out of bed and crawl to the toilet, which I'm glad I still had control of that because many people this happens to even lose that. But I've heard it's the closest thing a man can experience to giving birth because it's a, it's, a, it's a similar experience in, in that you've got something pressing massively on your sciatic nerve. So I started on some major painkillers and anti-inflammatories and physiotherapy, got some ultrasound, and I finally got an MRI a couple of months later and I was diagnosed with DDD, degenerative disc disease. My doctor told me that just continue on the inflammatories and painkillers and, and the physio, and it's either gonna get get so bad that they have to ver uh, the fuse the vertebrae together or I'll see some improvement. Well, I, I, I mean, I continued, I tried the physiotherapy and, and everything. The ultrasound helped a little bit, but I never really saw much improvement and I suffered with it for the next 10 years. From about 2005, I was taking four to six Neurofin pluses a day, coating painkillers. I was drinking almost every night. I, you know, I'd lost confidence. I'd lost freedom in myself. I'd lost the enthusiasm for life. I suffered from daily stress from it and tension headaches. You know, I, I had trouble picking up my kids. It just really affected my life with the back problems and with the stress and the lifestyle and the alcohol and, and everything. Also, I'd gotten up to about 120 kilos. But in February of 2012, I was researching commercial essential oils for another business when I went along to a meetup about essential oils. There they were talking about how essential oils have been used for thousands of years and how the knowledge had been lost. They were talking about the profound effect that they can have on your emo on your emotions for healing and your overall well-being and you know stepping into a toxic free living. So I gave them a try. 
I really didn't know how to use them. So I just started putting them, you know, one drop on to the corresponding energy or chakra points. If you want to know about that, Google it. Every oil has a, has a corresponding energy point. And after a couple of weeks, I noticed that I didn't need to take the painkillers anymore. And I wasn't drinking as much either. My stress and pain reduced greatly. I realized there was something that these essential oils was doing and that my thinking was changing, my moods were changing, my health was improving. I also lost about 20 kilos over the next three months without even trying. So I wanted to know how and why they worked and you know so being a logical and an accountant I started to research and study them and really fell in love with them. They've changed my life so much for the better that I want to that I want to share them with my friends and my family and and help others. So at this point I'd love to get your feedback. I want to know, give me your name, type in, in, the, in the comments there in the chat, give me your name and what, what brought you here? What problem are you looking to solve by eliminating toxins? You know, we're returning to oils for a good reason. In the next hour, we'll be looking at answering some questions you may have about living a toxic free lifestyle and giving you a chance to play and experience um, how wonderful these oils are. Hopefully if you're within a group with, with, that's got some oils with them. If not, that's okay, you'll still gonna learn a lot. So I hope you have some paper and pen in front of you to write down any questions you may have or in, in the comments, please write out any questions you have there and I'll, and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. So please open your mind to getting healthier and getting happier. I know this is going to add value to you. And so you don't get overwhelmed with the many different oils. I'm gonna share just a few at a time. So we're just gonna start with three of my favorites, peppermint. So, you know, you've been out to dinner, you get home and your stomach starts churning because you ate, some, you ate too much or, you know, there's a reason they put mint in the after dinner mints because peppermint supports gastrointestinal comfort. It promotes a healthy bowel function and enhances healthy gut function. It helps maintain efficiency of the digestive tract. Just, you know, just imagine improved performance during exercise. It's really great for that. I keep a roller ball with me of peppermint that I've diluted when I need a pick me up, I'll put a little bit underneath my mustache there. So I'm breathing it in or a little stress reliever. I'll put it there, keep it away from the eyes. This is diluted though. So if it's full strength, don't get it too close to your eyes. I'll explain that later. One great way to use the peppermint, particularly if you've got some stuffiness. Now this will blow your head off a little bit, but you put a drop on your, on your thumb and you put it to the roof of your mouth. It's going to clear all that out and it really wakes you up. Our next oil here is Stress Away. It's a, it's a great oil. It's my daughter's favorite. If you're having a rough day at work and you keep overthinking a problem you have, you know, you put a little bit of Stress Away on. It's a nice and gentle one. You can put it on your chest. It promotes wellness and may be an important part of your daily health regime. It's one of the top emotional oils. You know, stress is the second leading cause of oxidation in the body. Doctors say that stress is 90% of the core cause of, doc of doctor's visits. It is really a yummy one. Yeah. So, and then the next one we've got is frankincense. Just a fantastic oil. If your life is upside down and, in, and you need a cure-all, frankincense is, is, is one of your go-to oils. It's also one of the top skin oils. It's a key ingredient in Young Living's brain power essential oil. You can diffuse it during prayer and meditation for grounding and purpose instead of, you know, the toxic laden plugins and fragrances and incense and candles. Those are not good for your lungs. Just imagine smoother skin. 
it's my primary moisturizer at, at, that I make myself at night. It's uh, the, mo the one I make has got frankincense and myrrh and lavender, or cedarwood and rose. Egyptian tradition considered frankincense to be a universal cure-all. One bit of wisdom gleaned from Egyptian antiquity says, you know, the hieroglyph said that frankincense is good from everything from gout to a broken head. And that would be the Egyptian way. In modern English, it would be it's good from everything from head to toe. So now that you've, you've experienced some of my favorites, I'd like to go back a little bit and explore what are essential oils. They are the lifeblood of the plant and are called essential because they are necessary for the life of the plant and contain the essence of the plant. Essential oils contain life force, intelligence, and vibrational energy that imbues them with power to improve well-being. Why they are so successful, uh, effective in humans is that they have a very similar vibrational energy as we do. And also they, they different oils have different vibrations. And particularly when the body's down, when you're down, you put on a, an oil with a higher frequency, it helps your body elevate that frequency. They support every system in the body, your skeletal and muscular system, circulatory system, and your endocrine and hormone system, your respiratory and immune system. They support brain health and a healthy weight. They're used extensively for emotional support and for spiritual support in prayer and meditation. Diffusing an oil can soothe a child's tough day at school and provide a calming effect when you've had a stressful day. Oils can be used as an alternative to toxic cleaning chemicals in the home. You can literally start swapping out every chemical cleaning toxin in your home to live a pure lifestyle without breaking the bank. There are about 300 oils on earth, but you only need 10 to 20 of them to build a good kit. You do not need to be an aromatherapist to use them. In most cases, you just rub them into the skin or diffuse them. There are three main ways to get oils into your system. The English apply topically, the French ingest and cook with them. I love cooking with them. I make a mean coconut lime rice. The Germans diffuse and inhale, which can be the most effective method because it doesn't have to pass through the digestive system. In France, you can even choose, after you go on to the doctor and you go to the pharmacist, you can even choose, the, the doctor will write a script, you can either get a pharmaceutical or you may have the option to get an essential oil and a capsule for, as, as your medication. That's in France, not here. So how do they enter the body and how long do they last? Tests have shown essential oils reach the heart, liver, and thyroid in three seconds when inhaled. They were found in the bloodstream when applied topically. Expulsion out of the body of essential oils takes approximately three to six hours in a normal healthy body. So the story of essential oils begins with Adam and Eve when God placed them in the garden and not in a house, they would have been inhaling the, the strengthening oils, the uplifting oils through just like we do today. Like when we take a hike, you know, through a forest or a jungle or a, or a, a field, you know, don't, don't you get a lift from that? I mean, it, it just, it's energizing. You know, oils are mentioned in over 1,000 times directly or indirectly in ancient scripture from the beginning to the end it is declared that the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations some of the oldest cultures on earth used essential oils the Babylonians placed orders for cedar wood myrrh and cypress and the bride and their brides like Esther bathed in myrrh for six months before their wedding the Egyptians used essential oils for beauty and embalming, and they have the oldest recorded deodorant recipe made with essential oils. How do you think they kept the mummy skins 
so preserved and in, in good order for thousands of years. So what do you think? So they used essential oils to do that. So what do you think essential oils can do for your skin? They may na help naturally preserve it. The Persians and Romans used essential oils in the communal bathhouses. They were our primary elixirs, their primary skin care for thousands of years before modern, our modern synthetic chemical corporate world. They were used by the most influential leader of all time, our Messiah. Jesus Christ was given frankincense, myrrh, and gold. Frankincense is sometimes referred to as the coconut of essential oils because it has over 10,000 uses. So, do essential oils work? Like I've said before, I've used them since 2012. The biggest takeaway that I've gotten from that experience is that you have to use them. You know, I didn't know how to use them, so I put one drop in the morning and one drop at night um, of each of the oil on the corresponding energy point. And after two weeks, I had some significant results. So I think the biggest thing it did for me is it woke me up. It, it helped me wake up to the lie. You know, I, it helped me take responsibility for my health to improve it, to feel and look younger uh, naturally. You know, I, I no longer let large corporates and government lie to me for their benefit by relying on them to take care of me. I've taken my health and my wealth back and I want you to do the same. So before we go back to the teaching, I want to share with you a couple more oils there. If you've got a kit there, break these out, give them a try, share them around and I use these regularly. So lavender is a great oil. After a long day standing on your feet or running around after the kids, there's nothing better than lavender. It's the oil of relaxation. Just imagine a soothing and calming aroma. It's one of the top oils to support healthy skin, very gentle. It's called the Swiss Army Knife of essential oils because of its many uses. It's gentle for calming babies and children. It's, it's great on, on sensitive skin. It's very gentle for the kids. It's one of the most popular oils. Lemon, if you're feeling like you have a cold coming on or just feeling sluggish, try lemon oil. You know, everybody does it lemon juice. Well, you can do lemon oil in the water in the morning for a detoxing, detoxifying effect. It tastes fantastic. I actually, like I'll, here's my water bottle here and I will many times well, any of the citrus oils, I love to put a drop or two in there and have it in my water. It tastes great. It may help support your immune system. It's great for removing grease and gunk naturally. You can use it as a nail polish remover instead of the really toxic stuff, which is really bad for your skin. Detox by drinking more water with a little bit of lemon in it. And it, it's really good. If you've got a cough or a runny nose or a little tight chest, RC there supports a healthy respiratory system. It's got a lot, a lot of a, a mixture of the different species of eucalyptus. And you can diffuse it for a comforting aroma. You can rub it on the feet and the chest encourages a, of atmosphere of comfort. It's really great for a run. Just you. Can, replace all those toxic chest rubs please so not all essential oils are created equally for example just because you buy an oil at crazy clark's or at a, at a very expensive spa does not mean they will be any different from one another it's kind of sad in australia u.s and most countries there is no rating system for essential oils the closest we get is an fda and tga requirement that to label a bottle of essential oil pure or therapeutic grade, the contents of the bottle must contain at least 5% essential oil. That's it. All oils in the world fall into four categories, grade A, grade B, grade C, and grade D. 
Grade A is therapeutic, made from orga organically grown plants and distilled at low temperatures. Grade B is food grade, but contains synthetics, pesticides, fertilizers, chemical extenders, or carrier oils. Grade C is perfume oils that often contain adulterating chemicals. The majority of, of essential oils are grade C. They usually use solvents like hexane to gain a higher yield of oil per harvest. If any of y'all remember the movie Aaron Brockovich, hexane is what was in the water. Solvents can be cancerous and are in many store-bought oils. They also may dilute 80 to 95, they may dilute the oil 80 to 95 percent with alcohol. Grade D is called floral water, which is aromatic only and is usually a byproduct of grade A distillation. After the oil is pulled out, the leftover trash water is sold to companies which fill 5% of the bottle with this and fill the rest with carriers and label it pure. Grade A is the only true pure oil and that's what Young Living oils are. Grade D would be like taking the time to cold press a juice, you know, say beetroot or carrot or apple or celery, and then pouring a small amount into a glass filling the rest with water and drinking that. While it might still taste like <laughs> the juice that you just did, it's certainly not gonna have the benefits of the 100% fresh juice. That's why you want grade A oils. Before you purchase, you need to check to see if the company grows their own plants, owns their own fields, and controls the entire process from seed to seal. From the farm to the sealed bottle, Pesticides, fertilizers, pollution, previously farmed land, all of it can affect the quality of an oil. Why would you go to the extra step of using an oil to get away from a chemical and then use an oil laden with chemicals? It makes no sense. One of the, of the things that stands out for me is Young Living's seed to seal process. It's a promise of integrity. Gary Young has said that he never makes an oil for profit. He makes it for a purpose. Seed to seal means each plant is hand weeded. There are no pesticides used, no chemicals, and no weed killers. The plants are harvested at their peak. They're then put through a vigorous testing process. Then they go from the farm directly to your home. Seed to seal is not a slogan, it's a promise. You can learn more about about the seed to seal process at Young Li and Young Living Story and fall in love with the company as I have. Go to seed to seal.com. So why do oil companies sell oils more cheaply? That's other oil companies, by the way. So to save money and make bigger profits. If you spray your crops with pesticides, you have more crop to distill. If you use a chemical solvent to extract the oil, you pull more out. If you dilute it with a cheaper oil or a carrier oil, you stretch the oil you have distilled. Most essential oils are sold more cheaply because companies cut corners. So Young Living provides only, gr provides only grade A oils. Let's have a look at how oils are made. It takes a great deal of work to produce a tiny amount of essential oils. 60,000 rose blossoms provides only 30 mil of rose oil. So 30 mil is two of, two of those bottles there. So, uh, lavender is more abundant. About 100 kilograms will provide about three kilograms of oil. Jasmine flowers must be picked by hand before the sun becomes hot on the very first day they open, thus making it one of the most expensive oils in the world. It takes 8 million hand-picked blossoms to produce 1 kilogram of oil. A sandalwood tree must be 30 years old and 30 feet high before it can be cut down for distillation. And sustainability with Young Living is key. And a little goes a long way. A 5 mil bottle contains about 90 drops. And a 15 mil bottle contains about 250 drops. Each application is one to three drops, meaning even a small bottle will get you 45 to 90 applications.
quick introduction to Thieves Cleaner and, and maybe your host has a bottle of Thieves Cleaner there for you. Thieves Cleaner is made of plants only and costs about $3 a bottle to make. You can even get that in the or you can't even get that in the organic section of the grocery store. It replaces a multi-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner, and floor cleaner. The or and, and the comparable organic versions can call, can run you to eight to twelve dollars a bottle. There's a whole thieves range there with toothpaste and and spray and mouthwash and wipes that is just transition from the toxic synthetic chemical laden cleaners and soaps and toothpaste and, and everything to a much to a natural clean non-toxic environment so i have two more oils to introduce to you copaiba you probably haven't heard of this one it's a handy oil to keep in your first aid kit because if you're not sure what oil to use you can always kind of go to it it's very gentle it promotes overall wellness supports nearly every system in the body it's also a great skin oil. It's kind of the frankincense of South America. If you run out of frankincense, it's a good substitute. That's Copaiba. And our next oil there is Digiz. If you've been out for brunch and couldn't decide between the eggs Benedict and the muffin, or so you had both, and now you're stuffed, it's another good one. It's the top oil for supporting your digestive system. Add two drops along with a drop of peppermint to water for a stimulating beverage. It does really make that stuffed tummy go over. So you can, I always put a drop or two on my, on my, on my stomach there. So now you may be asking yourself, are they safe? The answer is yes. But here are a few, but here are a few tips on how best to use them. Citrus oils are photosensitive, meaning you don't wear them and go in the sun. So you put them where the sun don't shine. Always dilute your oils on pets and children, at least until they get used to them, you get more experience and you test them out. You can use a carrier oil like coconut or olive oil or V6, which is a beautiful blend of seven oils and has no scent. Do not put oils near your eyes. If you get oil in your eyes or private parts, it'll burn. You use a carrier oil to get the oil out. Do not use water as water will drive the oil deeper into the skin. So you just put the carrier oil over the eyes or in that private part where it's burning and give it a few seconds and it'll start to suck that essential oil out and relieve any, any discomfort. You can become desensitized to oils if you use them the same one every day. So try to rotate your oils out every few days. So what about internal use of oils? NEHA, or the National Association of, for Holistic Aromatherapy, doesn't advocate essential oils for internal use. Secret, if you're putting them on your skin and then they're in your blood system within 26 seconds, that's internal. Um, so why do they say that? <clears throat> Most oil companies don't carry grass oils. Grass is, stands for generally regarded as safe, and which have been cleared by the FDA and TGA. Neha also bases a lot of their decisions on the British model, which advocates topical use only because most of the, their oils are, are extracted with solvents. The solvents are the part which, are, which is toxic. Many of the British studies are flawed. For example, they're done at extremely high dose, doses or in ways the oils aren't meant to be used like pouring a bottle inside the body. Young Living utilizes all three methods. They use British, French, and German. The French have been safely been using essential oils internally for centuries, but only ingest grade A oils and those that come from uh, things we normally eat, like rosemary and orange and thyme. So Young Living has many colon, culinary oils and they, which are approved by the Australian New Zealand Food and Safety Standards, and they're marked as such. I think most, hopefully everybody, most everybody knows what a, what a carrier oil is. There's lots out there. So they are, they slow down the absorption. And here, like I mentioned before, so here's the flip side to your natural products. So look at the ingredients, 
list of the products in your home. Every day we put products on our skin, in our body, and breathe them in. But many of these products contain damaging chemicals. The average woman applies over 30 chemicals a day to her body just through soaps, makeup, shampoos, and hair care products. 80 of those chemicals are applied every day before breakfast. Many of you all probably know many of the culprits. Sodium lauryl sulfate is a sudsing agent found in shampoo, soaps, and even toothpaste. The EPA classifies it as a probable human carcinogen. And in the state of California, the, the state of California has declared it is, it causes cancer. <laughs> Propylene glycol, even though the EPA considers this toxic enough to require protective gear in the workplace, it is still found in many personal care products. Aluminum salts, often used in deodorants and is shown to be linked to dementia and breast cancer. Dementia is running rampant. Methyl isobutyl ketone, sorry I'm not very good at the scientific names, it's an aliphatic ketone that functions as both a denature and solvent in cosmetic products. Exposure may irritate the eyes and mucous membranes, cause weakness, headaches, nausea, lightheadedness, vomiting, dizziness, and narcosis. Phthalates helps products like nail polish, perfume, and makeup adhere to the skin, potentially carcinogenic and an endocrine disruptor. You don't want to disrupt your endocrine system. Triclosan used as an antibacterial in body products and soaps. The EPA registers it as a carcinogen pesticide and lists it as the risk to both human and environmental health. By the way, I don't know if you all know, but antibacterial products have been banned in the majority of companies because if you didn't know it, your body is mostly bacteria. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I thought that's funny. So remember, there are no standards for household product industry. This means they can put whatever they want into, the, in, into these cleaning products. Some of these are highly toxic and we are exposing our family, our pets, and ourselves to them. When you use Young Living Essential Oils, you're using a product with one ingredient, like lemon, oregano, tangerine. No additives and no chemical yuck. So before I wrap it up, let me show you the last few oils that we have. These are a couple of the blends. So purification, you've been wearing your favorite shoes all day and you slide them off to give your feet a rest and then everybody in the room turns and the dog runs off. You know, so it's a good oil to put a drop or two in your shoes and your feet, will, you know, it'll have your feet and your shoes smelling fresh and fragrant all day. I actually have it on me all the time because I I'll before I put my socks on I'll just do a little bit of roller of the purification on my feet you can diffuse it in the air to eliminate to freshen the air and eliminate odors you can put it in a spray for an annoyance free outdoor experience if you know what I mean so it's really great it's a great one get those plugins out and the chemicals out and the talcum powder out talcum powder so bad did you know i think it was not too long ago a woman in i can't remember the state in the u.s she won a settlement of 418 million dollars because she proved that the talcum powder that she was using gave her ovarian cancer it's mainstream news look it up google it our next oil here is Thieves, one of my favorites. If everyone's coughing around you and sneezing and germs are abound, use the Thieves. I introduced it a little bit of it earlier. It's a great way. It helps uh, support a healthy respiratory system and helps maintain your overall wellness and bo boosting your immunity. It can be used as a dietary supplement. You can add it to drinks. It's got a little spicy zing. It's got some cinnamon in there. I put one drop on my feet and my children's feet on the bottom of their feet every night it's just to boost the immunity it's really good really good pan away i just ran a 10k today and when i came home and a little sore i, I put on a little bit of pan away and it takes it away and soothes it so it's great for soothing muscles after exercise and it has a stimulating aroma 
You can apply it to your back and your neck for a soothing experience, you know, relieve some, some tension there. And just replace those toxic heating rubs, please, please, please. So why oils? Because they are a path, one of the paths, to a simple chemical free lifestyle. It's time to kick the chemicals to the curb. Only you control what you allow into the threshold of your home and your body. When you see what they can do for your body and begin to kick the chemicals out, the synthetic chemicals out of your medicine cabinet, out of your kitchen, out of your laundry, out of every room in your house, it is gonna be impossible to walk into the home of your friends and family and not share what you know and experience, especially when you see the ingredients list in the products that you and they are using every day. You share it because you love and care for your friends and your family and you want them and yourself to live a healthier lifestyle. When you take care of yourself, you can fully do what God created you to do, what you were called to do. I love this quote. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Whether this is struck a chord with you or not, do something now to improve your health and well-being and that of your loved ones by reducing the toxins you're exposed to daily. Little by little, it will make a big difference. One of the main ones is just drinking clean water, clean water without poisons in it like chlorine and fluoride is huge. If you would like to use oils, I, you know, I'm talk to your host or give me a call and all this information you know can be a bit overwhelming so I want to make it easier for you kind of share I started out my oils journey with the starter kit you know the essential oil collection that's half off and it gives you a choice it gives you a basic kit of the most popular most diverse oils to, that you can use to kind of have a holistic experience and if you're like me and you like a bargain, it's the best bang for your buck. It comes with a diffuser and 11 oils, and it's the only thing that Young Living sells that's over 50% off. So if you want to order now, go to youngliving.com, click on become a member, and, and look in the comments here. I'll set up a link and add my sponsor and enroller number there, 1306783. If you have a host or you have another sponsor or enroller that's introducing you, please use their number. Ask them for it. And like most people, select the premium starter kit with the diffuser of your choice on Essential Rewards. It's basically that simple. I like the Dewdrop diffuser if you're if you um, are looking for an economical. If you want the best of the best, get the Aria diffuser. It's, it's wood and glass. You can do it on your smartphone or on your computer. Either way, I wish you all health and wellness and you and your family a lifetime of wonderful experiences.